what's being revealed to me today in an exercise like this is the same thing that's always revealed. Um, coming up with a point of view and holding to that point of view is a lot more work than you think it's going to be first thing in the morning. The past is a book read too closely and knowledge is weight. The wise dog prefers to remain groping through the present. He had a story, the old one, early years of homebound comfort, then boredom and the acrid dawn of dissatisfaction. So the dog went internal. No more chasing cars, stopped inviting tummy tickles, interest in bones, deprogrammed. The gourmand vanquished by the self, no dazzle left in fancy food scraps. He even renounced meat, difficult for a dog. I have no idea where I'm going, where we're going, and uh, it's going to be a big adventure. I think it's best to ignore your nerves <laughs> and just um, keep them on the Bunsen burner at the back. We don't know what the locations are going to be. Uh, that's why I like that element of surprise. For me today, it's not about being clever or literary. It's about getting the story top. In an exercise like this, you're racing against the clock. The speed is of the essence. I'm pretty bad with deadlines. Um, I tend to go over them. So I've tried to take this really seriously today. <laughs> I was full on dreading this. I just thought, okay, I said I'm going to do it, I'll just do it. Just 12 hours of agony, it's, it'll be fine. I don't feel very comfortable sitting in there with my laptop and film crew. I feel like it's very rude. I need an audience for what I've just written. If I write it and there's no audience, then it's a little too close to masturbation. The first thought I had as I hovered over my own dead body was that I wish I'd died in a different position. My mother never saw my young stomach balloon. It had just appeared on the doorstep. Too much time had passed to still own a spare key. I think I write about memory a lot. Memory and... Um, and and place and the land holding memory and stuff. Good writing for me is when um, I'm taken on an emotional journey and I really know the characters. I guess the main part was just trying to work out what the hell are you going to write about. Feeling quite tired. Wish I had that really punchy last sentence. I'm sure it will come. It's 3.30. I'm feeling like I'm just beginning a story. I'm feeling um, a bit tired and hungry. I need to eat my curry. <laughs> well, the hardest part of today, in a way, maybe interrupting the flow when you leave the location. You know, the, the fingers and the mind want to continue. Um, you know, got to get on a bus or get a taxi and go somewhere strange like a cage. I already have the entire plot outline sort of worked out. Not what I expected, I suppose. I've only just, the ending's only come to me in the last sort of ten minutes. I think any writer who comes into the world and thinks that they can do it on their own is deluded. A writer needs an editor. The key is to just observe what is obvious in the day, in the moment, and then go with that. Go where the energy takes you. I think it'll end up in the bin again in a few minutes. It's just, it's just the way writing is.